Ever wondered how hackers exploit vulnerabilities in web applications? It's a fascinating yet complex world where the tiniest loophole can lead to massive data breaches. Understanding these vulnerabilities is crucial. It's not just about safeguarding your website, it's about protecting valuable data, your users' trust, your reputation. It's a game of cat and mouse where the stakes are high and the players are smarter than ever. Today, we're going to dive into the world of web application vulnerabilities and how to identify them. Web applications are often the first point of attack for cyber criminals. Now, take a moment to think about it. Why is this? Well, it's because web applications are the bridge connecting users and servers. This makes them the perfect target for cyber criminals looking to exploit any vulnerabilities that may exist. So what exactly are these vulnerabilities? In essence, they are weaknesses or flaws that exist in a web application which, when exploited, can lead to unauthorized access or even control of the system. They're like the chinks in your armor, the weak spots that can be targeted to bring the entire system down. Understanding these vulnerabilities is crucial because it's the first step towards safeguarding your web applications. As the saying goes, know your enemy. By understanding these vulnerabilities, you're essentially understanding the methods and tactics cyber criminals might use to attack your system. Now let's delve into some common types of web application vulnerabilities. One of the most well-known and frequently exploited is SQL injection. This occurs when an attacker is able to manipulate a query to the database, often with the aim of viewing, modifying, or even deleting data. Next up, we have cross-site scripting, often abbreviated as XSS. This is a type of vulnerability that allows attackers to inject malicious scripts into web pages viewed by other users. The aim here is usually to bypass access controls or even trick users into revealing sensitive information. Last but not least, there's cross-site request forgery or CSRF. This type of attack forces an end user to execute unwanted actions on a web application in which they're authenticated. Essentially, it's like a puppeteer pulling the strings, making users perform actions without their knowledge or consent. These are just a few examples, but they illustrate how diverse and complex web application vulnerabilities can be. Each one presents a unique challenge and requires specific countermeasures to combat. Now that you understand what web application vulnerabilities are, how can you identify them? The first step in identifying web application vulnerabilities is to conduct a thorough code review. Now you might be wondering, what exactly does a code review entail? Well, it's a methodical examination of the source code of an application. It's like a detective meticulously examining a crime scene, looking for clues that might reveal potential weaknesses. During a code review, we delve deep into the logic and structure of the code with a keen eye for detail. We're looking for anything out of the ordinary, any missteps in coding practices, or any loopholes that could be exploited by a malicious entity. Understanding the code and its functionality is key. We need to know what each line is meant to do, how different parts of the code interact, and what the expected output should be. Only then can we spot discrepancies and potential vulnerabilities. A code review is an essential first step, but it's not the only way to identify vulnerabilities. The second step involves using automated scanning tools. Now, these tools are akin to your personal cybersecurity detectives, tirelessly scanning your web applications for possible vulnerabilities. They methodically traverse your application, hunting for anything that could potentially be exploited by a malicious actor. There's a plethora of these tools available in the market, each with its own unique set of features. Tools like Nessus, Burp Suite, and OWASP Zap are quite popular among cybersecurity enthusiasts. They are designed to sniff out a wide array of vulnerabilities such as SQL injections, cross-site scripting, XSS, and even cross-site request forgery, CSRF. Keep in mind, however, that these tools are not a silver bullet. They are fantastic at identifying common vulnerabilities, but may overlook more complex or unique security flaws. They should be used as part of a larger, holistic approach to web application security. While automated tools can help, they are not foolproof. The next step is manual testing. Manual testing is the final step in identifying web application vulnerabilities. And what a step it is! Manual testing is like the detective work in our cybersecurity investigation. It's where we roll up our sleeves and get hands-on with the code. It involves intentionally trying to find, 
weaknesses in a web application that might have slipped past the automated scans and code review. So, how does it work, you ask? Well, it's a bit like playing a game of cat and mouse with potential vulnerabilities. We use techniques such as input validation testing, where we input unexpected or malicious data to see how the application responds. If it crashes, displays error messages, or behaves unexpectedly, we know there's a potential vulnerability that needs to be addressed. Another technique is penetration testing. This is where we simulate cyber attacks on the web application to test its defenses. We're essentially trying to break into our own system to find any weak points before someone else does. It's a proactive approach, akin to testing the strength of a fortress by staging a mock siege. These techniques require a deep understanding of the system and its potential vulnerabilities. They also require time and patience as manual testing can be a meticulous, detailed-oriented process. But why is it so important? Because it's our last line of defense. It's our final chance to catch any vulnerabilities that might have slipped through the cracks. By combining a code review, automated scanning, and manual testing, you can effectively identify web application vulnerabilities. Identifying web application vulnerabilities is an essential skill in today's digital world. Let's take a moment to reflect on what we've covered. We dove deep into the realm of web application vulnerabilities, dissecting their nature and understanding why they pose such a significant threat. We embarked on a journey through the three steps of identification. First, we highlighted the importance of careful examination and understanding of a web application structure. Next, we emphasized the role of thorough testing, leveraging both automated tools and manual techniques. Lastly, we underscored the value of continuous improvement and regular updates to keep abreast of emerging threats. This knowledge isn't just for the tech savvy. Everyone who interacts with web applications can benefit from understanding these vulnerabilities. It's about taking proactive steps towards safeguarding your digital space. Remember, the key to securing a web application is understanding its vulnerabilities. Stay safe out there.